Hello everyone, uh, today I thought I'd make a video of me just thinking what could be for anniversary, let me change back to here, there we go, explaining what I think, what, what my predictions are for anniversary this year, for JP anniversary. So my first prediction is that we will be getting some sort of way to increase our character stats like we've been getting every year with either Super Awakening or uh, level 90, level 100, and my expectation is we'll probably get either level 110 to match rank 110, or they will add uh, a new system that will individually, or like what they've done with uh, GP points, overall boost your character stats. I do believe that GP points, it's okay, but I think it's very whale orientated. But for overall character, who I think it will be, I do think it will be a Demon King Zeldris, mainly because we got Zeldris. I'm, when I talk about anniversaries, I'm talking about with Global and JP together, characters wise. So, first one we got, which was together, which was Zeldris, last year was Liz. So my thought this year is that it would be another Zeldris to sort of fit the pattern. And also if we go down to here, we go to, no, it's player info, me being an idiot. Uh, we go to replay story, we go all the way down here, to here. This bit is the revival of the Demon King. And this this picture here is the commandments going into Zeldris, which eventually turns him into the Demon King. So what I think they will probably end up doing is that Zeldris will, Demon King Zeldris will be a playable character at some point. But I do think that maybe at first they'll do what they did with Mael, Sassi Storosa, when they made him a, a character you'd constantly keep fighting uh, in the story, and then later on in future chapters they then released him as a playable character, which is something they could do. I do think it's highly possible they will do that. He might be in the October Festival, which is normally uh, the download celebration, so it could be that. Or he might be in the Summer Festival, which is around July time, when we get another festival. But... I do think it probably will end up being this Zeldris. Of course, if it is this Zeldris, I do think that Demon King Melee will of course be end of year, because that's sort of to be expected. But, of course, they're just my thoughts. My thoughts of what they could do to make the leveling, leveling up system better, or what they could do in general, just to make the grind less of grind. What I mean by that, I mean is you need 33 SSR pendants to level up a character, 145 Belmuth cores, 125 OG Demon mats, Per character, which is quite a lot, especially if you're a newer player. Let's just say you're a brand new player, uh, you've just unlocked level 100. Yes, from events you can buy these materials, but if you want to level up an entire team, that's 500 OG demon mats, which is like a lot of grinding for demons, especially if you're low level. You probably can't do hell to obtain the max amount of OG demon mats every time. So, what they could do is make it so. They all start at level 80, and you can trade the old demon mats, that, be, that means horns, wings, and ears, for uh, the newer demon mats, but it's like uh, 1 to 1 on, no, let's just say like 2 to 1 ratio. So for every 2 horns, you get like 1 Belmuth core, and a 5 to 1 ratio when it comes to um, OG demon mats. Just to sort of make it fair, <clears throat> I do think that would be a better way of doing it. Because for, for a long-time player like me, it's fine. I started playing the game at level 80. S, like, there was no SA in the game. Level 80 was the max level, max awakening. That was it. And then I remember when they started asking, uh, they sl slowly started adding the super awakening, and then they added level 90, and then level 100. So the initial level up wasn't too bad. But for a new player, all of this leveling up can probably seem like quite a bit of a... You know, quite a bit of a grind and probably quite intimidating, especially for a newer player, especially to the, uh, the gacha game scene. Something I think that would be the better thing to do is also make fully super awakening tokens. Because 63, let's just say you get you get your character 1-6, that is 63 SA coins you will need to fully super awaken them to SA6. Of course, if they are 6-6, six, six, it only requires you 46 because it r removes the lock at the start, which is 3 SA coins every time past 1-6. So 15 less. Which I think... I think adding full yeah, full SA coins would be very useful. Of course, they you know in some events they do have the level ninety coin, which is like it's kind of cool, right? But most times you just use it on the new character anyway, so you, it's not really that useful. And there's a lot of like other characters that like boxy is a big thing. So why don't they just make it easier for newer players? And in general, just older players who haven't leveled up half these characters. Of course, if they do end up doing this, like characters can be level eighty. Uh, and on a banner, they'll probably end up putting the suicide units on there just as a troll, because I swear they've done that before. And I wouldn't put it past them up with them doing it again. 
But for anniversary, something I do want them to do is to add uh, Roxy. I know she is the latest character, but I do think she should be added. I also think that they should uh, add more of the seasonal characters, or make the seasonal characters not as seasonal by putting them on, I don't know, like a default banner, or something so they can be more regularly obtained, just so it's not, like, stupid hard to get them, because I'm missing, like, 19 characters, I'm pretty sure, like, 15, 14 of them are seasonal characters, which is quite a lot of characters are seasonal. Of course, the uh, hero is not showing the collaborative characters I'm missing, which is the three Strange Things characters, and also not including um, top 100 characters. That's really it. I just thought I'd give my thoughts and opinions on what could be for anniversary. And uh, of course, it might be a collaboration soon, so of course, watch out for that. And I'll do another video talking about if you should, if you should summon for that collab or not, because uh, of course, the festival coming. Anyway, see you all in the next one. Bye bye.